All right, so I know a lot of you guys ask, what do I do with all these insert cards of players that are retired, legendary players? Well, what I like to do is I like to put them in binders. I'm a binder guy. Just love this part of the hobby, guys. I mean, this is like, for me, this is just like collecting for fun. So I got a few Babe Ruth cards here on this binder page. Love that shiny one right there. That's a reprint image of one of his uh, legendary cards when he was with the Boston Braves. So cool cards here. Our Boston Red Sox, excuse me, not the Boston Braves, the Boston Red Sox. Some more, uh, some refractors down here on the bottom. That's a cereal box card from back in the day. Love those 51 tops design for the, uh, for the newer cards with legendary retired players. Here we go, a few more. I think this came from like some kind of box set that came with a price guide from way back in the day, back in the early 90s. All kinds of different stuff. A lot of pack issued inserts from the 90s, early 2000s. You didn't really see retired players getting a lot of baseball cards till around, till around 2008, 2009, especially in the more conventional product like pack issued cards but here we go here's more that is uh that's a cool one if what could have been right what could have been of course a real high-end product they like putting players like babe ruth on that some more babe ruth cards here and this is a classic image of ruth at yankee stadium moving along here <clears throat> More cool cards. This one's like a, kind of a 3D image card, I think. From some oddball product back in the day. So you can kind of mix it up with the players, with the cards. Love that 75 tops look, 87 tops look mini, 71 tops look mini. Just cool stuff, man. When you put them all together in a binder, in a binder, really looks cool. An old school sport flicks. That wraps it up for Ruth. Now we're going to move on to the Mick. I think I got like four or five, maybe six players in this binder. So there we go with Mickey Mantle. I remember these cards came out of blaster boxes, I believe. Or maybe they, yeah, I, I think. I remember getting these back in the day. And then those came out of Turkey Red. I actually pulled the one of one of that Turkey Red Mantle card right there. It was a magenta printing plate, one of one. There's a 52 look, kind of a, a design look, not kind of like, you know, mix in the turkey red with the 52 tops and you get that card. Some nice refractors, some minis, love the tobacco minis. There's a early image of mantle. It says shortstop on that card, which I always thought was kind of cool. Uh, some more mantles. So, I'm not sure where that one came from, but it's a cool card. As many of you know, in the 90s through the early 2000s, mantle was card number seven in the basic top set. So that's what a lot of these are. Card number seven from like 07, I think that's 2006. That's a Topps Chrome version. Some of the... Uh, Reprints of the classic cards of 59, the 58, 59 All-Star. Of those, what would have been at the 52 tops look, kind of different alternative options. So, cool there. 51, or 52 Bowman look. Kind of a reproduction of the 52 Bowman. Of course, Mantle wasn't in 54 tops. So Topps kind of played around with what they would have done had he been in 54 Topps. He only only appeared in Bowman that year, at least for pack-issued cards. Got a couple of uh, reprints. That's kind of an alternative color on the background reprint. Nice refractor there. So cool mantles. I think, uh, yeah, more mantles. So there we go, the 2008 card, number seven. 
Let's see, is that card? Yep, card number seven, part of the part of the uh, the basic set. Moving on to Hammer and Hank Aaron. Got this whole rainbow up here on the lineage. I must have pulled all those out of packs. I opened up a lot of lineage that year. I, I love that lineage product because you could get all the retired like Hall of Famers and stuff. There we go, some more. Aaron, that's as close as I have to an Aaron rookie card right now. <laughs> Uh, these are uh, these are vintage playing days cards. Got the regular and the highlight mini right there. And what else we got going on? That's also uh, playing days. A lot of the uh, beat up playing days cards end up in my binders. So very nice. Hammer and Hank Aaron cards there. There we go at the 73, 72, 72 action all star. Mixed in with like the Ginters. Like how that kind of that page turned out. Uh, some ni other nice ones. Got the tobacco minis. Love that '96 Bowman's best design. Does this one have the refractor sign? No. I know that they have a refractor and a atomic refractor version of that card, which I wouldn't mind picking up. More hammering Hank for the win. Look at that, Hank Aaron. And then, man, that's a great image there. Like what a 53 top Aaron may have looked like. Love that card. I'm not even sure where it's from, but it's just a cool card. And then <clears throat> these are reproductions of like some old tobacco cards. That one's got Maze at the bottom, Aaron at the top. And of course, Maze is next. So more reprint Maze rookie cards. All different, right? They, they, they've done this. They probably re reprinted this card 20 times. I, I happen to have three of them in here. No, there's no doubles in this binder. There we go with like the 53. But again, these are all different products. The famous catch. The say hey kid for the win, man. More cards of the famous catch. Out there at the polo grounds. Vic Wartz. Deep center field, and Willie Mays makes the amazing catch to save the Giants in the 54 World Series. There we go, more Mays cards. That one's always cool. That's like an old mother's cookies cards. I really love that card. It's from like 1984. Just think it's a cool card for some reason. More shiny refractors and... Old school designs, baseball's heroes. I think these are inserts from Upper Deck in the early 90s. These baseball hero cards are kind of neat. High tech tobacco minis. Love the 83 Tops design. So nice to see a Willie Mays card from that design. Old box sets from the 80s. <laughs> Both of these are from box sets from the 80s. Those are printed by Tops. So just kind of just a nice mix of cool cards. There we go with a, a 3D, kind of like the old school 3Ds from the late 60s. Love that card. That's a sticker from 83 Tops sticker. So pretty neat piece there. The good old turn back the clock card, the 71 Tops. Very cool. And then I do have some playing days cards in here, I think think of Willie Mays, some beat up ones. There we go with a bunch of reprints from the 60s. Uh, maybe I, uh, I probably passed them up actually. And then love that 72 mini style card there. And then I got the Bowman rookie reprints, 55. Uh, what's that? 55 tops, 55, or 55 Bowman tops, 60 tops, 60 all-star. Cool cards there. There we go. The 59 tops reprint of the Great Catch again in the 54 World Series. The card companies have done a great job of re, uh, making a bunch of reprints of that catch. Here we go with Willie McCovey, a.k.a. Willie Mack. So again, some... Great images of Willie Mack. My first favorite baseball card as a kid, 1978 Tops. 
This card is cool. I, I, I think I liked it because of the stars at the top and the bottom, and it said 77 record breaker. Most times, two home runs in an inning lifetime. So Willie McCovey hit two homers in an inning for the second time in his career, and they made that card. Love it. One of my favorite baseball cards, and definitely my favorite baseball card in 1978 when I was a little kid. I, I just fell in love with that card. Oh, there's a cool McCovey uh, playing days. These are all, that whole row is actually all playing days. Actually, this whole page, except for these two, are playing days cards of Willie Mack. Some more cool Willie McCovey cards. This guy was so good, man. He was so strong. Everybody talks about how strong McCovey was. Just a great baseball player. And big part of the Giants' success in the 60s and not so much. Well, the Giants didn't do too much in the 70s, but they were as really good in the 60s. Of course, Willie McCovey lined out to Bobby Thompson to end the 1962 World Series. And Thompson moved over about five paces to his right, to McCovey's left right before McCovey hit that line drive. Had he not done that, <clears throat> that would have been a game-winning hit for the Giants. Ten years before I was born, and I'm still upset about it, right? <laughs> ah, man. Anyways, that's just the baseball fan in me. Here's some cool uh, rookie reprints. I got, looks like, five different ones of McCovey. That's just a classic card. And, of course, I have the original rookie card. There we go with another Mother's Cookies from the early 80s of McCovey. And McCovey played in four decades, guys. Willie McCovey played from 1959 through 1980, and he hit at least one home run in each of those four decades. How cool is that? This is my first um, PWE Tragedy relic card right here. I put this card in my binder because it got absolutely crinkled in the mail because it was sent in a PWE. Love that one there. That was like, God, that was like before I was even on YouTube, I think, when I got that card. And then the last player in this binder is Reggie Jackson. Of course, got a couple of rookie reprints. I do prefer Jackson in an A's uniform. My least favorite cards are him in an Angels uniform. But when I was a kid, that's mostly what I got, like 83 tops. That's when I really started collecting was 83. That card is kind of a classic because it's on the 83 Tops wax box, an image of that card. Reggie Jackson with the big old sunglasses. Love that early image of Jackson when he was with Oakland. Love those old school Oakland uniforms. Got some Plain Days Jackson cards. Actually, the, all six of these are Plain Days. That's him wrapping up his career, 87, with the A's once again. And a few more here. I think, uh, I think my the next page is the last page. Some more Jacksons. There we go. If anybody ever wants a Reggie Jackson card in the Baltimore Orioles uniform, there's a subset from 88 score, and one of the cards from that subset has him in an Orioles uniform. And is that it? Yep. <clears throat> yep. These are some classics from my childhood. 84 Donruss, 88 Fleer. Love that card. 87 Donruss, 87 Fleer. Man, great memories with these cards as a kid. 86 Donruss. Woo! Memories, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And now you know what I do with all of my, like, low-value, cool-ass baseball cards. I like to put them in a binder, and from time to time, it's just a lot of fun flipping through the pages. Memories, great images, and a lot of fun. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. And as always, happy collecting.